Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. We've reached the end. This is the championship game of the WBC, the World Baseball Classic, that we've been working on for about the last five weeks or so, six weeks, uh, on my channel. We started with eight teams in two pools of four teams each. We are down to the last two. We did pool play, we did two rounds of playoffs, and here we are at the championship. This has been a fantastic experience. I'm so proud of this set that Chris White and I developed um, back in, when was it? November and December. We created this set, and I'm really proud that it's available for you. If you'd like to pick it up for yourself, yeah, Chris White's email is vsusports23 at gmail.com. His PayPal is vsusports, no 23, vsusports at yahoo.com. All of that information is in the description for this video. The set is $81 shipped to your door. The cards are APA compatible and they look fantastic. Card stock is like a credit card in thickness. And you get envelopes. There's eight teams in the set. You get an envelope with the logo for each team. And 28 cards per team. What I did was I looked at the five World Baseball Classics that have happened, including 2023. I took the best players from each normalized the cards for international play, and boom, here we are with a fantastic and a replay that's been so much fun. I want to do more with these cards, but today's the championship game for this one, for this tournament. Um, also, in the description for this video is information about channel membership to my channel. So check that out. With channel membership, you get free uh, a free gift from me every month. You get discounts on the secondary store and access to exclusive members-only videos. And there's quite an archive in there for you right now. All right. So let's talk about today's matchup. As you might guess, it's the Dominican Republic at Japan. Um... The pitching matchup, these are, these have been, of course, because they're in the title game, these have been the hottest teams in the tournament. The pitching matchup is Bartolo Colon, big sexy on the mound for uh, the Dominican Republic, and he will be opposed by the man that I think is the best pitcher alive, Yoshinabu Yamamoto, for Japan. In fact, Yamamoto is talking about wanting to come to the United States next baseball season in 2024. We'll see if if his club, the Oryx Buffaloes, allows that to happen. Um, so, this one game is it. Winner take all. There are a couple of players that are not available today. Uh, for the Dominican Republic, Sandy Alcantara, uh, oh no, excuse me, yeah, Sandy Alcantara is not available. He pitched in the game to get to this one. Everybody else is available. And for Team Japan, uh, the pitcher that is not available is Yu Darvish. He pitched in their last game. Everybody else is fair game for at least an inning of work, but we're going to stick to our starting pitcher rule of no more than four innings. So the starters can go no more than four innings in this game. In fact, there's a WBC championship game in real life, or as the kids like to say, IRL. Taking place in maybe today or tomorrow. I'm not quite sure when this video is going to premiere, but it uh, might be this day um, that the championship game will take place, and you should definitely check that out. I'm sure it's going to be a great one. All right, 
So with all of that as preamble, oh, I should tell you the records. That would be nice. Uh, the Dominican Republic has lost one time. Team, Canada, uh, Team Japan is undefeated at this point. They are 4-0. Team Dominican Republic is 3-1. So, based on that, Team Japan gets the home field advantage for this game. All right. Now we're ready for some starting lineups and our championship game of our WBC tournament. This is it. All righty, here we go for Team Dominican Republic. There's their envelope. The batting order for today's championship game. Starling Martes leads off in center field. Juan Soto bats second and left. Vladimir Guerrero bats third and right field. Albert Pujols bats fourth. He'll be at first. David Ortiz bats fifth. He's the DH. Adrian Beltre bats sixth. He'll play third. Robinson Cano bats seventh. He's going to play second base. Miguel Olivo bats eighth. He'll catch. And Jonathan VR bats ninth. He will be at shortstop. On the mound, it's Bartolo Colon. He pitched for the Dominican Republic, as you can see, at the top of this card in 2006. Uh, he is a B-grade pitcher with a Z modifier. Alrighty, for Team Japan, there's their envelope. Their batting order looks like this. Ichiro will lead off in center field. Tetsuda Yamada bats second at second base. Shohei Otani is the, the DH, he'll bat third. Munitaka Murakami bats fourth, he'll play third base. Seiya Suzuki bats fifth, he'll be in right field. Shinosuke Abe will bat sixth and catch. Kensuke Kondo will bat 7th and play left field. Hayato Sakamoto bats 8th. He'll be at short. And Atsunori Inaba will bat ninth. He will play first base. On the mound, it's Yoshinabu Yamamoto. Uh, he is pitching in this World Baseball Classic that's going on right now uh, in 2023. He uh, is an A-grade pitcher with YZ modifiers. And he is a right-hander, just as Cologne is. All right, let's talk about uh, team defense. For the Dominican Republic, they have 41 defense points. I put all the... I've gotten in the habit on my APA games of putting the defensive ratings in the margin here. They have 41 defense points. That makes them a fielding one. Uh, Team Japan has 40 defensive points. That makes them a fielding two. All right. Going to read the red die is the tens digit. The white die is the ones digit. We got our D6s ready, and we are ready to go with our championship game here today. Thanks for joining me. I think this is going to be fun. Yamamoto to Marte, stepping in the batter's box. And here is our first at-bat. The delivery from Yamamoto to Marte is hit right back to... Oh, excuse me. It's hit to uh, first baseman Atsunori Inaba. And he's going to glove it and take it to the bag himself. And we're underway in the top of the first. One gone. Juan Soto comes to the plate. Yamamoto kicks and deals. And one more time. It's hit to Inaba, this time to his right. He's going to feed Yamamoto covering. And there's two gone in the top of the first. And now Vladimir Guerrero. Yamamoto kicks and deals. And the impaler hits it to short. Hayato Sakamoto cuts it off from going up the middle plants and fires to Inaba for out number three. We have a half inning in the books, but no score. In our WBC championship game, here comes Cologne. He will face Ichiro, Yamada, and Otani in the bottom of the first. The pitch to Ichiro. Base hit to right. Drops in front of Vladimir Guerrero, and he's aboard with a leadoff single. And Tatsuto Yamada comes to the plate. 
The DR goes to a double plate up, Cologne the stretch. And the pitch to Yamada is going to be ball two. Ball two. Next delivery from Cologne is a bouncer to third. Beltre knocks the hot shot down, picks it up. His only play is to first. He fires across the diamond to Albert Pujols and retires Yamada as Ichiro advances to second base with one out. Here's Shohei Otani with a chance to put Team Japan in front early. Cologne the stretch and the pitch to Yamada, to Otani, excuse me, to Otani is grounded to short. VR gloves it, checks Ichiro at second, and fires to Pujols for out number two. Brings up Munitaka Murakami with two outs, and Ichiro is still at second base. Cologne, the stretch, and the, and the delivery to Murakami is to center and deep. Marte back, warning track, wall, and it's gone. A two-run bomb for Murakami. And Team Japan leads 2-0 in the first inning. Seiya Suzuki comes to the plate now with two outs and nobody on. Murakami has yet to explode in this tournament. Maybe he's going to, and it's a hanger to Suzuki. He drills this one into the right center field gap. Going to split Marte and Guerrero and go to the wall. Suzuki cruises into second with a two-out double, and here's Abe with a chance to make it 3-0. Cologne in first inning trouble. The stretch. The delivery to Abe. Base hit to right field. Drops in front of Guerrero. They're waving Seiya Suzuki home. He will score. The throw is cut off. And Abe is on first with a base hit. It's now 3-0 Team Japan in the bottom of the first. Kensuke Kondo comes up now. The delivery to him is ball two. Next pitch. Hit in the air to left. Over by the foul line is Soto, and he's got it for out number three. But in the bottom of the first, Team Japan strikes for three runs. On four hits, they leave one. We go to the second, and it's Japan three and the Dominican Republic nothing. Yamamoto comes out for inning number two. It's Pujols, Ortiz, and Beltre coming up in inning number two. Yamamoto kicks and deals to Albert Pujols. And it's a ground ball to Yamada at second. And it's off the heel of his glove. It's going to roll into short right field, and Pujols will reach on an E4. He's on at first. Ortiz comes up. David Ortiz, Big Poppy's been hot all tournament. Double play depth for the Jap for the Team Japan infield and the delivery from Yamamoto. Hey, struck him out and he got him with the cheese. Ortiz is gone, one out and one on for Beltre. Yamamoto the stretch and the pitch to Adrian Beltre. Ball two. Rules at first, the stretch by Yamamoto and the delivery to Beltre. Is another grounder to second base, and Yamada boots this one as well. Two errors by Tetsudo Yamada in the top of the second bring the tying run to the plate in Robinson Cano. Two on with one out, Yamada with the championship game yips. And Yamamoto is in a, in a challenge right here. Yamamoto the stretch, the delivery to Cano. Ground ball hit to Murakami. Murakami goes to Yamamoto for one, and the relay to Anaba is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing, around the horn, and inning-ending 5-4-3 double play turned by Team Japan. We go to the bottom of the second, and it's Japan three and the Dominican Republic nothing. 
Going to get action in the Dominican Republic bullpen. Uh, Francisco Cordero is throwing in case Cologne has trouble in the second inning. They don't want to get too far behind in this one, although it is still early. Sakamoto, Inaba, and Ichiro coming up in the Team Japan second inning. Those are the 8-9-1 hitters. Cologne winds and delivers to Sakamoto and is hit in the air to center. High but not deep to Starling Marte, and he's got it for out number one. Atsunori Inaba comes to the plate now. Cologne the stretch and the delivery, and it's a hanger to Inaba, and he's been on fire. This one's going to get into the gap in right center field. Marte and Guerrero are split. It gets to the wall. Look at Anaba go. He's around second, heading for third. The relay coming from uh, VR to Beltre is late. Anaba is sliding and safe at third. Ichiro comes to the plate, and that's going to, well, they're going to let him go one more batter. The infield comes in for the Dominican Republic. Ichiro at the plate. Cologne the stretch. And the pitch to Ichiro. Hit in the air to right. Under it is Vladimir Guerrero. He's coming in and he's going to make the catch. It's too shallow for Anaba to tag and there's two gone. Yamada is up now. And there are two outs. Cologne the stretch. The infield is back at normal depth. Cologne the stretch and the pitch to Yamada. And hey, got him on a dead fish change up. And that will retire the side in the second. Japan threatens but does not score. They get a runner to third with one out and they can't get him in. We go to the third inning, and it's Team Japan 3, Team Dominican Republic, nothing. Yamamoto will face Miguel Olivo, Jonathan VR, and Starling Marte 891 in the DR order. Yamamoto to Olivo to lead off the third. And it's popped up. Munitaka Murakami in fair territory is going to take it for out number one. Jonathan VR up now. Yamamoto winds and delivers. And VR strikes out on a bender. Two gone. Yamamoto has not allowed a base hit. And we are two and two thirds into this game. Marte at the plate. Yamamoto kicks and deals. Bouncing ball to Sakamoto at short. He's up with it. Cuts it off from going up the middle. Plants and throws to Anaba. And that retires the Dominican Republic in inning number three. We go to the bottom of three. And it's Japan three. The DR nothing. Otani, Murakami, and Seiya Suzuki coming up in the Team Japan third inning. It's the meat of their lineup. Cologne winds and deals, and hey, strikes out Otani. One down in the third. Cologne getting it back now. He has retired uh, five of the last six batters. Cologne to Murakami. And it's to right and deep. Back goes Guerrero. Warning track. Wall, and it's gone for Murakami, and it's 4 nothing Japan. And that's, yeah, they're going to let him go one more batter. <laughs> Cordero is ready in the bullpen. Cologne, the, the windup and the delivery to Seiya Suzuki, and that's a base hit to right. Drops in front of Guerrero. He fires it back in, and that will do it for Bartolo Cologne. So the big, big sexy doesn't get it done in the championship game here. He goes two and a third innings. Seven hits allowed, two of them homers. He doesn't walk anybody. He struck out two. He's allowed four runs so far. Suzuki at first is his responsibility. 
The pitcher, at least for the rest of this inning, will be Francisco Cordero. Uh, and I'll tell you about him. He pitched for the Dominican Republic in the 2006 tournament, as you can see at the top of the card. He's a right-hander, a B-grade pitcher with a Y modifier. He's facing Abe as his first hitter. Abe was a left-handed batter, so Cordero will not get a letter-grade boost. Kensuke Kondo is on deck. There's only one out. 4 nothing Team Japan with Seiya Suzuki at first base. Abe is one for one. He drove in a run in the first inning with a base hit. Cordero knows he's got to stop the bleeding here. Cordero the stretch and the delivery to Abe. Is a wild pitch. It bounces past Olivo. Goes to the screen. Say a Suzuki. Goes to second base. That takes the double play away. And Abe was certainly a double play candidate. Kensuke Kondo is on deck. The pitch from Cordero. <clears throat> Ground ball. Hit to Robinson Cano. He gloves it to his left and throws to Pujols. For out number two, Seiya Suzuki advances to third base with two outs. And now it's Kondo, who is 0 for 1. Hayato Sakamoto would be next. 4 nothing Japan. We're in the bottom of the third. Cordero the stretch. And the delivery is a hanger to Kondo. This is going to be down the right field line. Guerrero's got to dig it out of the corner. Scoring easily is Seiya Suzuki. Kondo goes to second with a standing double. It's 5-0 Japan. Cordero now deals with Sakamoto with Kondo in scoring position. Cordero the stretch and the pitch to Sakamoto is a comebacker, gloved by Cordero. He takes a couple of steps toward Pujols and throws him the ball for out number three. But Team Japan adds a couple more. On three hits, they leave one. We go to the fourth, and your score is Japan five and the Dominican Republic uh, nothing. Yamamoto comes out for his fourth and final inning of work. Pedro Martinez is throwing in the bullpen for the Dominican Republic. I'm going to let him go an inning, and that's it. Uh, for the for Team Japan, the next pitcher will be Roki Sasaki. And if you don't know him, you should. I bet he's going to be Major League bound as well. Uh, before too much longer, he threw a perfect game. Actually, he threw a perfect game with 19 strikeouts last season. And then in the next game, he went eight more perfect innings before they took him out on a pitch count. So he's a good one. He's a keeper. And if you've been, if you've been paying attention to the WBC, I'm sure he's made quite a splash. All right, here is Soto, Guerrero, and Pools, the two, three, four hitters for the Dominican Republic in inning number four. They've got some work to do. Team Japan leads five to nothing. Soto's 0 for 1. Yamamoto kicks and deals, and that's ball four. So a leadoff base runner, a good sign for the DR, and this is an explosive lineup, so they can certainly get in the game in a hurry. Soto at first, Guerrero comes to the plate, the stretch by Yamamoto. <clears throat> is hit to Inaba's right at first base. He's going to feed um, uh, Yamamoto covering. That will advance Soto to second base. There's one gone in the fourth. Albert Pools is up. No base hits yet for Team Dominican Republic, and they have been explosive in this tournament. Yamamoto the stretch and the delivery to Albert Pujols. Hey, got him on a high cheese. Got him with some Limburger. And there's two down in the fourth. 
David Ortiz comes to the plate. Beltre would be next. Yamamoto the stretch and the pitch to Big Poppy. And a bouncing ball to Sakamoto who fumbles the ball. He can't make a play. Ortiz will be safe at first. Soto advances to third. Men at the corners for the Dominican Republic with two outs. And here's Beltre. That's the third error on Team Japan here early. Beltre is 0 for 1. The stretch by Yamamoto and the delivery. Base hit to left field. Scoring is Soto. And Big Poppy is around second. He is heading for third. And what in the world is he doing? Kensuke Kondo gloves it, fires to Murakami, and Ortiz is out at third. So the Dominican Republic gets one. <clears throat> On one hit, the run is unearned, but it counts. <clears throat> their first hit brings home their first run of the game, but Big Poppy gets gunned down on a cardinal sin. Don't make the first or third out at third base, and he just did it. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Team Japan is leading 5-1. to one. Time out. Naba Ichiro and Yamada 9-1-2 coming for Team Japan in the bottom of the fourth against new pitcher Pedro Martinez. Cordero is done. He went two-thirds of an inning and allowed a base hit. Pedro... Uh, pitched in the 2006 tournament. He is an A-grade pitcher with YZ modifiers. All right, Nanaba stands in against him. He tripled back in the second inning. And, hey, got him on a changeup. The dead fish. One gone in the fourth, and Pedro could throw one, couldn't he? Here's Ichiro. Pedro kicks and deals to the Team Japan center fielder. And he bounces it to third. Beltre to his left, gloves it, and fires to Pujols for out number two. Tatsudo Yamada at the plate now. He's 0 for 2. The delivery from Pedro. Hey, struck him out, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. For Pedro in the fourth, but I'm not going to let him go any further because he pitched just two games ago. So I think that's enough. We're going to go to the fifth with your score, Japan five and the Dominican Republic one. And here comes the phenom, Roki Sasaki, pitching in the current uh, WBC. Uh, he is an A-grade pitcher with XZ modifiers. He throws hard, hard, hard. Uh, but he's also got uh, breaking stuff. He's got a change-up that he mixes in once in a while. He's got a splitter. So he's got the whole arsenal. Cano is at the plate. He'll be followed by Olivo and VR789 in the Dominican Republic fifth inning. The delivery from Sasaki... Is hit to short. Uh, wait a minute. No, it's hit to third. Murakami gloves it, and he fumbles it. That's going to put another base runner on for the Dominican Republic on an error by Team Japan. It's the fourth error by Japan in the ball game, but they haven't really paid for it yet. We have a man on with nobody out here in the fifth, and Olivo comes to the plate. Sasaki the stretch, and the pitch to Olivo is a hanger. And Olivo has been hot. This one's going to go down the third baseline and rattle around in the corner. Cano is getting to third. They are going to wave him. And the throw is cut off by Murakami on a double by Olivo. It's 5-2 Japan now as the Dominican Republic gets one run closer. Olivo in scoring position. VR comes to the plate, and the Phenom is having early trouble. That's going to get 
action going in the Team Japan bullpen. My, um, Taisei Ota and Masahiro Tanaka start to throw in the Team Japan bullpen. A couple of right-handers. VR is up. Nobody's out. We're in the top of the fifth. The pitch. Hit in the air to right. Seiya Suzuki is getting under it. He has got it. Olivo is tagging the throw from Suzuki to Murakami, and Olivo's in there sliding. So the third run for the Dominican Republic in this game is 90 feet away with one out, and here's Marte. Team Japan is going to play back. Of course, 0 for 2 is Marte. The pitch is a grounder to Sakamoto. He charges hard, throws on the run to Inaba at first, and that will score Olivo from third. It's a 5-3 game now. And here comes Juan Soto with two outs and nobody aboard. Sasaki trying to get out of the inning. He kicks and delivers. Ball four. He walked him. So the tying run will come to the plate for the Dominican Republic. In the person of Vladimir Guerrero Sr. And Sasaki goes to the belt. Guerrero's 0 for 2. The pitch. Hit in the air to left. Going to drive Kondo back in front of the track. He'll make the catch for out number 3. But in the 5th, the Dominican Republic gets 2 runs on 1 hit. The run at the runs. The runs are unearned. All three runs they have scored in this game are unearned, but you know what? They're going to take them. And we go to the bottom of the fifth with your score, Japan 5 and the Dominican Republic 3. The new pitcher for the Dominican Republic is Alex Colome. He pitched for the Dominican Republic in the 2017 tournament. He is a right-hander, an AC pitcher with XZ modifiers, and he's going to face the meat of the Team Japan order in the bottom of the fifth. It's Shohei Otani, Munitaka Murakami, and Seiya Suzuki. The delivery from Kalame is a base hit to center field for Otani. Kind of been waiting for him to explode. He has not done much so far in the tournament. But this man has. Minotaka Murakami has two bombs to his credit. Kalame going to try and avoid number three happening right here. The pitch is a hanger to Murakami. Did he get a third? It's to right and deep, and it's going to be off the wall. Vladimir Guerrero is running it down. Otani to third. They are going to hold him there. Second and third for Team Japan with nobody out in the bottom of the fifth. Seiya Suzuki comes up. He's two for two. The Dominican Republic infield is going to come in. They want that out at the plate if they can get it. All right, Kalame in a jam. Here we go. The pitch to Seiya Suzuki is ball four. The bases are now loaded, and there's nobody out. Sunosuke Abe comes to the plate, and the infield is going to remain in. Kalame the stretch. The pitch to Abe. Ball two. Colome having all sorts of control trouble, and that's going to get the Dominican Republic bullpen going. It's Octavio Dotel starting to throw the right-hander in the Dominican Republic bullpen. All right. Ave is still up there. He's one for two. Condo on deck. The pitch. And this one is
Grounded to VR. He's going to come home with it to Olivo, and that's all they're going to get. Otani is retired at home plate 6-2. to two. The other runners move up. Murakami to third. Suzuki to second. Abe to first. The infield remains in now for Kondo. Sakamoto is on deck. Kondo, a left-handed batter. Kalame the stretch. And the delivery to him. Uh-oh, a hanger to Kondo. Did he get it? It's going to be down the right field line. And... Rattle around in the corner. Scoring is Murakami. Scoring is Suzuki. Stopping at third is Abe. It's a two-run double. For Kensuke, Kondo, and Team Japan lead 7-3. to three. They get the two runs back. Immediately, Kalame is in trouble. Second and third now with the infield staying in for the Dominican Republic. Inaba is on deck. Kalame the stretch. This may be Kalame's last hitter. The pitch to Sakamoto. And it's a base hit past VR. Into left field. Scoring is Abe. Scoring is Kondo. It's a two-run single past the drawn-in infield, and it's 9-3. to three. Team Japan with a four-run bottom of the fifth, and that's going to do it for Kalame. We're going to get a new pitcher. Timeout. At Sonori, and Ava comes up. Uh, Kalame is done after a third of an inning. He allows four hits. He walks a man. He allows four runs, and Sakamoto, run number five, is at first base. Octavio Dotel pitched for the Dominican Republic in the 2013 tournament. He is a B-grade pitcher with YZ modifiers, and he is going to face Anaba here with the infield at double played up. The pitch from Dotel is hit to third. Knocked down on a nice play by Beltre. It was ticketed for left field. He picks it up and fires to Pujols for the putout at first. Sakamoto advances to second with two outs. And here's Ichiro with first base open and Yamada on deck. They're going to pitch to Ichiro, apparently. Dotel the stretch and the pitch to Ichiro. Is a bouncing ball hit to Robinson Cano. He throws to Pujols and that retires the side. But Team Japan hangs up a four spot in the bottom of the fifth on four hits. They leave one. We go to the sixth, and it's Team Japan nine and the Dominican Republic three. And Roki Sasaki is out for inning of work number two. He's got Pujols, Ortiz, and Beltre in his future. But the thing is... The Dominican Republic literally is not out of any game. They can put up four or five or six in a hurry. Sasaki deals to Pujols. Hit in the air to center. Back goes Ichiro. He's got it for out number one. Big Poppy comes to the plate now. Sasaki delivers. I struck him out. That's the first strikeout for Roki Sasaki. There's two gone in the six, and here's Adrian Beltre. Sasaki winds and delivers. Ground ball hit to second. Tetsuro Yamada to his left. Plants and throws to Inaba at first. And that will retire the DR in the six. We go to the bottom of six. Japan 9, Dominican Republic 3. Octavio Dotel is out for his first inning, full inning of work in the bottom of the 6th. Dellen Batances is throwing in the Dominican Republic bullpen. Yamada is 0 for 3, the pitch. A hanger to Yamada from Dotel. He did that sometimes. And it's going to be hit to center and it gets over the head of Starling Marte, one hopping the wall. 
Yamada around first. He's got a leadoff double in the sixth, and they're looking to bury the Dominican Republic here in inning number six. Shohei Otani comes to the plate. And the three for three, Munitaka Murakami is on deck. So tell the stretch, the pitch to Otani is hit to right and deep. Down the line, fair or foul, it's fair and it's gone. A two run bomb for Otani, his first in the tournament. And it's 11 to three, Japan over the DR. It brings up Munitaka Murakami. Betances is almost ready in the bullpens. Seiya Suzuki is on deck. Octavio Dotel, the stretch and the delivery, and he walks Murakami. Suzuki coming up. This may be Dotel's last hitter. The stretch by Dotel and the pitch to Suzuki is hit to center, into right center, on a line. Marte on the run makes a nice catch. Murakami slams on the brakes and retreats to first. There's one gone in the bottom of the six, and here's Abe. He is one for three. Dotel the stretch and the delivery to Abe is hit to center. This time, Marte in his tracks has it for out number two. Kensuke Kondo comes to the plate. He is two for three and hit a huge two-run double last inning. The delivery to Kondo hit to center. Dotel is going to, I'm sorry, Marte is going to tie a record held by many and make all three putouts in the inning. He's got it for out number three. But in the bottom of the sixth, Team Japan adds two on two hits. We go to the 7th, and it's Japan 11 and the Dominican Republic 3. In the team, Japan bullpen, New York Mets right-hander Kodai Senga is throwing, and he is joined by Daisuke Moriura, a lefty-righty double-barreled action for the Team Japan getting ready. Uh, Roki Sasaki is out for his third and final inning of work here in the seventh. He will face Cano, Olivo, and VR unless the Dominican Republic starts to use their bench, which may happen. Let's see what happens here. Cano is 0 for 2. Sasaki winds and delivers, and Cano hits it to right. Seiya Suzuki by the foul line is going to make the catch for out number one. Miguel Olivo is 1 for 2. Sasaki winds and deals to Olivo. He hits it in the air to right. This will drive Seiya Suzuki back a few steps, but he's got it for out number two. And Jonathan VR will bat. Sasaki kicks and deals to VR. And hey, struck him out in that. Retires the side and ends Sasaki's three innings of work with an exclamation point. Sasaki goes three innings, allows two runs. Neither one is earned, only one hit. He walked one, he struck out two. And we go to the bottom of the seventh time to stretch him out with your score, Japan 11 and the Dominican Republic uh, three. Dellen Batances will take over for Octavio Dotel. Dotel goes an inning and two thirds, allows two hits. And a walk, didn't strike out anybody, allowed two runs. They're both earned. Batances pitched for the Dominican Republic in 2017. He's a right-hander, of course, a B-grade pitcher with XY modifiers. His job is to face Sakamoto, Inaba, and Ichiro, 8-9-1, in the Team Japan batting order in this ball game. We're in the bottom of the seventh. In the Team Japan bullpen, Senga and Moriura are ready. I don't know which one's coming in, but they're ready to go. Batances will start against Sakamoto. And hey, struck out Sakamoto. One gone in the bottom of the seventh. Dominican Republic running out of outs. Atsunori and Aba is one for three. He's up there now. Batances delivers. And a base hit to right field for Anaba. That's his second hit. 
One on, one out for Ichiro. Ichiro is one for four. And the bullpen has to get cooking again for the Dominican Republic. The Edinson Volquez and Fernando Rodney are throwing in the Dominican Republic bullpen a pair of right-handers. The chance is the stretch and the delivery to Ichiro. Is a hanger to Ichiro. He is a base hit into right field. Inaba is around second, heading for third. Guerrero's throw comes into second, and there's runners at the corners for Team Japan with only one out. Batanz is in trouble. Yamada at the plate. On deck is Otani. Batanz is the stretch. The infield is in. The pitch to Yamada. There goes Ichiro. Yamada takes the throw down from Abe to, I'm sorry, from Olivo to VR is late. And Ichiro steals second. Second and third now. First base open. The stretch by Batanz's and the delivery to Yamada. is hit to third. Beltre checks Inaba at third and fires across the diamond to Pujols for the putout. There are two gone, Otani coming up now, and Murakami on deck. Pick your poison. Otani's got one home run in this game, and Murakami has two. First base is open, but there are two outs. They're going to let Batances try and face Otani here. The stretch by Dellen and the delivery. And I struck him out, and that will retire the side. That would have made it a laugher. But Team Japan is turned away in the seventh. We go to the 8th with your score, Japan 11 and the Dominican Republic 3. Top of the 8th, Kodai Senga is on. He pitched for Team Japan in the 2017 tournament. Uh, and I believe he's doing it this time too for Team Japan. Of course, he's the newest member of the New York Mets starting rotation. He's a right-hander, a B-grade pitcher with a Y modifier. He's going to face Marte, Soto, and Guerrero, the top of the order for the Dominican Republic. Senga winds and deals to Marte, and it's going to be big trouble for Japan. This is a base hit to right field. Marte is aboard. A nice play by Seiya Suzuki cuts it off in the gap, and Marte holds on with a long single. Juan Soto comes to the plate. Senga the stretch and the delivery is to center. Ichiro is under it, and he's got it for out number one. Vladimir Guerrero comes up. In the bullpen for Team Japan is Moriura and Atsuaki Yuasa. Lefty-righty, double-barreled action. Just in case Senga needs a little help. Guerrero is 0 for 3. The pitch to him. Is hit to center. Ichiro under it. One more time. He makes the catch. Marte retreats to first. And Pujols comes to the plate. He is 0 for 3. Dominican Republic only has three hits in this game. Team Japan has shut them down. The pitch... Hit to center, and Ichiro is going to tie a record held by many. He's got it for out number three. We go to the bottom of the eighth with your score, Japan 11 and the Dominican Republic 3. Dellen Batanz's inning is done. He allowed two hits. He struck out two. He did not allow a run. The new pitcher for the Dominican Republic is Fernando Rodney. He pitched for them in the 2013 tournament. He is an A-B pitcher with a... 
with an XZ set of modifiers, right-hander, of course. And he'll face Murakami, Suzuki, and Abe coming up in the bottom of the eighth for Team Japan. Murakami is three for three with two homers. The delivery from Rodney is ball four. He walked him. Seiya Suzuki comes to the plate. He is two for three. Rodney the stretch and the pitch is a base hit for Suzuki over first base. Going to third is Murakami. There's runners at the corners for Team Japan and Abe coming to the plate. The infield moves in for the Dominican Republic. Kondo is on deck. Rodney the stretch and the delivery. Is hit to Kano at second. Contact play is on. Murakami coming home. Kano fires to Olivo, and they get a sliding Murakami at the plate. There's one down in the bottom of the eighth. Suzuki moves to second base, and Abe is safe at first. Kensuke Kondo is two for four. He is at the plate. Rodney the stretch and the pitch. Hit to left. Over by the line is Soto. He's going to make the catch. Holding it second is Seiya Suzuki. And here comes Hayato Sakamoto. Rodney the stretch and the pitch to the Team Japan shortstop is popped up. Wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Jonathan VR is makes the catch for out number three. So a little drama. Japan gets a couple of base runners, but that's it in the eighth. We go to the ninth with your score, Japan 11 and the DR3. Kodai Senga is out for inning number nine, and he's going to try and make Japan the WBC champions. The Dominican Republic needs a huge inning. It's 11-3 Japan. They do have Big Poppy. Adrian Beltre and Robinson Cano do up in the top of the ninth. Senga winds and deals to Big Poppy, and that one is a grounder to third, and would you believe it? Murakami has made another error. Holy Toledo, that is one, two, three, four, five errors for Team Japan. They've got more errors than the Dominican Republic has runs. The DR is going to play it safe on the bases and try and patiently work their way back into this game. Beltre comes to the plate. He's one for three. Yuasa and Moriura are ready in the Team Japan bullpen. The pitch to Beltre is hit to second. That's Yamada. He goes to Sakamoto for one and Inaba for two. And that's a rally-killing, soul-crushing 4-6-3 double play turned by Team Japan. And it makes Robinson Cano the last chance saloon for the Dominican Republic. He's 0 for 3. Miguel Olivo is on deck. The pitch to Cano. Is strike three swinging. He got him with some high cheese. And Team Japan is the WBC champion. Wow. All right, let's give you the totals and then go over the particulars. For the WBC champion Team Japan, 11 runs. 17 base hits. They committed five miscues. But their pitching was so good it didn't matter, and the power was overwhelming. Uh, the Dominican Republic, three runs on, and this is incredible, just three hits allowed by the Team Japan pitching staff. And they committed... Uh, no errors. All right. Yep. 
Uh, for Team Japan, home runs by Otani. Otani hit one and Murakami hit two. Murakami is the MVP of the game and the MVP of the series. Uh, the win goes to Yamamoto with the All-Star Game rules for earning a win. The loss goes to Bartolo Colon. Yamamoto is 2-0. and Colon is now 1-1. One and one. So Team Japan wins it all with a perfect 5-0 and record. The Dominican Republic finishes with a 3-2 and two record. They are the runner-up. It's been a whole lot of fun to do this. I can't encourage you to pick up this set strongly enough. One more look at the logo of your champion and the logo of your runner-up in this tournament. You get the cards, the envelopes, and the card stock. I can't really... I don't know if you can hear that very well, but that's a thick card stock. Great... Uh, quality cards, great printing. Uh, the set is $81 from Chris White. All of the ordering information is in the description for this video. I've had a great time with this. Um, there's so many good ways to do it. You could do a tournament. You could do a single elimination. You could do double elimination. You could do a pool play plus playoffs, which is what I did. There's so many options. And... This represents the entire history, including this year of the WBC. You can't go wrong. Chris White's email is vsusports23 at gmail.com. His PayPal is no23, just vsusports at yahoo.com. Uh, the price for the set is $81 shipped. And I really, I worked hard on this. Chris has worked hard on it. And I'm very proud of this set. I hope you enjoy it. Have a wonderful evening. Your final in the World Baseball Classic is Japan 11, Dominican Republic 3. Japan wins the title in this replay. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you soon. So long, everybody.